An Indian legend tells the story of the alleged inventor of the chess game, who impressed the Emperor of India with his game so much that he would get rewarded with anything asked. The man said he wanted to be paid in rice. He wanted a grain of rice for the first square of the chessboard, two for the second, four for the third, and so on, until the 64th square. The Emperor was amazed that the man asked for such a small reward, but as his mathematicians started counting he ended up losing one of his provinces. How much was the precise amount of rice he asked? Is it countable with our modern technology or it still remains a mystery to us? But here's where it gets interesting. If we try calculate the amount of rice following mathematics we have to add the amount of rice for each chess square, which can calculate it by multiplying the previous amount by 2, or as 2, to the power of n, 1 where n is the square number from 1 to 64 the last one. Then we have to sum all the amounts together. With a bit of calculus we can end up with a formula that gives us the total amount of rice. But even today with this robust growth in technology we are not able to get a precise result. The problem lies in the storage capacity. This number exceeds the highest unsigned integer number and 64-bit computer can handle. The interesting part is, can we surpass this limit so we can calculate the exact amount of rice for each individual square, also the precise total amount using the powerful programming language Python? Let's find it out. The plan is easy. Even if integers has an upper limit in storage strings does not. We can convert our individual character back to an integer, calculate as we do in our physical world and then storage it back as a string. But let's proceed with the code. First we're gonna create two lists. X and Z, X will contain number 1 as string. The amount in the first chess square. Then we're gonna create the for loop starting 3 from the second square to the last 64 square. We include 65 so that we are able to calculate the total amount using the formula we mentioned before. Continue with a second loop to access each number separately, noticing that we make the calculations from the last element toward the first of the list. Due to the calculations is only a multiplication with 2 plus adding the carry, the max expected number will be the 19, so the carry is limited to 0 or 1. Checking if the multiplication exceeds 9, we can take the correct choice. Finally, we append each calculation in the Z list. Set the X list to an empty list, and we run a new loop to turn the numbers into the correct order. After the for loop, turn Z list to an empty list for the next iteration. Finally, print our calculation. That is it. Checkmate. If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing and give us a like. Until next time, keep your kings and queens ready, and your minds sharper than ever.